We're back to Cougar Paws. I'm your host, Michael Dawes. We're discussing with Barton Foundation clay shoot sponsors Gary Burke and Ron Smith and Barton's Darnell Holoparic. The unique fundraiser happening next month uh, at Lasada's. It's the sporting clay shoot. So, Darnell, we've got our two major sponsors here, but I know it takes more than uh, just two, and uh, you've got some other businesses that have stepped up, uh, and you have different classes uh, for them to have opportunities to sponsor this event. Can you go into specifics on sure. that? You know, Mike, as a professional fundraiser, uh, you don't do something unless you have passion about it. So anytime we're, we're planning an event, we're all excited about it. But when you get telephone calls saying, I want to be a sponsor next year, then you know you've hit on something good. And I had that last year. I had about three individuals that called me and said, next year I want to sponsor the clay shoot. So you know we've hit the right target when, when people are asking. Normally I have to go ask or someone else like Gary goes and ask because my board has really been involved. My board has really gone out. My foundation board uh, have really talked to a lot of businesses. And you know, it's who makes the ask. Uh, many times and just like Gary asking uh, Smitty that you know that that all came about because Gary was enthused about it but this year so far we have two major sponsors sitting here today we've got two president honor rolls we've got two dean honor rolls we've got two academic honor rolls we have 18 spa station sponsors and this is like a golf tournament where you have a whole sponsor we have 18 uh, station sponsors we have a lot of donations as far as like um, we're gonna have a wonderful raffle and we We've had people donate like a... Brunelli? Bernelli. We just have a lot of things, but we have the winners, uh, and like I said, that's for the team. We also have the high man, the high woman, the youth, um, so there's going to be a lot of nice gifts. Another thing that we did this year, um, we are going to give clay shoot t-shirts out to the first hundred registrants. So if they register, I shouldn't say first hundred, whoever registers by April 1st gets a clay shoot t-shirt. That does us good because it, we're going to be promoting our clay shoot to uh, the public, but at the same time it's a nice gift for every shooter that signs up before April 1st. Kind of like an early bird uh, situation, but uh, we have truly had some wonderful gifts given to us and we truly appreciate it. Yeah, and one of the benefits of them signing up early, it helps you guys plan. So it's a it, it, it's a plus-plus uh, situation for the participant and for the foundation. So I want to encourage everyone to sign up prior to. We know we get a lot of foot traffic the day of, too, so we'll definitely take that as well. Well, we offer it. Uh, you can shoot from 9 until 4. The last time anybody can go out as a team or an individual, it's 4 o'clock because they want it finished up about 5. So, uh, But we have a Lewis class, and until I got into this, I wasn't quite familiar, but you don't have to be the best shot to win. You you know, a Lewis class, again, is, is uh, where you can win even if you don't have the top score. We do have uh, an ATV again, a John Deere ATV, that anyone that shoots a perfect score will have an opportunity to win that ATV, and you're talking big bucks, Mike. Uh, this is something that entices them, and, and Scott uh, at Lasada's last year said we came really close. We had somebody shoot, I think, a 98, and it was really, really windy, so we'd love to give it away. I mean, this would be a perfect deal. It'll really increase people so Smitty you got to shoot well if you want to <laughs> well we'll we'll try uh, one thing I wanted to interject here uh, is uh, you don't like sh uh, Darnell was saying you don't have to be the best sh shot to come out it's a deal we want everybody to come out and participate no matter your age or your skill level or whatever it's it's for the foundation it's for to raise money it's a good cause and it's just good wholesome fun you know, you know the, those people who might not know what a Lewis class is, it's just like a golf tournament where they handicap and have flights. Yeah. And so it doesn't make any difference whether you shoot 90 or 50, you still have a chance of winning your, your flight, if you will. And, and so nice it's gifts it, and they're also cash for okay. those winners. So. Well, one good thing about the three-man team, too, it gives you time to uh, set on each stage and, and watch each stage. If you want to go first or second or third, you can pull the targets for the next man, and he can score. And it, it just works out really well with three people on a team. And I, I think, too, I mean, I've had a chance to 
view the participants last year, it's really a relaxed atmosphere. I mean, not, you're not going in there so tense. Uh, it's station to station, and, and people are all um, shooting and, and, and participating. So it's not like you got thousands of eyes on you as you're, you know, shooting to, to, to the world. I mean, you basically are competing, but uh, you're having fun at the same time with no pressure on yourself. Well, and they get a good meal. And included in the, the registration is a really nice meal that they fix at Lasada. So you can come up and spend the day. We have a lot of people that shoot and then maybe decide they want to shoot or we've got side games. Uh, so they'll do those side games. We did decide again, uh, Mike, to have the Fort Hayes State team be our officials with the ATV. We felt like not that anybody would... Uh, you know, fudge the score, but when you have a prize worth that much money. So they came out last year and they had a ball. I mean, they'd try to help the individuals, you know. They did it, a great job. They really did a good job, and we're going to have them back. Well, we just think that's really important for de them to get involved. I heard from Pratt Community College last week. They just started a clay shoot team down there at their college, and they're going to bring a team. K-State's bringing a team, and, of course, Fort Hay State, once they get done working, they're going to try to shoot. So We had a high school team out of Dodge City. Yes. last year that came yes. and they just had a great great time yes okay and i might mention too you've mentioned that john deere gator atv a couple of times and uh, that's uh, again being sponsored by great men farm equipment and this year also with alliance insurance yes uh, with randy hayden so we're very uh, uh grateful for them stepping up and offering that again hey we're going to take a break from cougar paws we'll be back after these